Hello there, my name is Roger Griffiths, I work in IBM Power Systems Advanced Technology Support in Europe. This movie is the first look around of the just announced machine in the Power 8 range uh, for an enterprise size machine, it's called a Power E870. This machine is an early ship example, there may be slight changes about logos or stickers on the box, but from an engineering point of view, this is what it will actually look like. Well here's our E870, we're sitting at the bottom of the rack, the yellow line is the bottom. If we had uh, cables that came in the bottom we'd probably put a, a few of you up for cabling. This is the entire size, this is the system control unit with the badge, this is 2U tool. There's the diagnostics and DVD at the top, here's the op panel, similar to the scale out models. The first keck node is up in here and the second one down in here. If we had a third and fourth, that would be one above and one below. We have the uh, power supplies and fans at the uh, top here. If we wanted to pull the unit out, we pull down these little clips and give it a tug. I'll just pull it out uh, a centimetre or so, because we still have the cables attached. We'll now take the covers off so we can see a little bit more about what's going on. Again, we give them a little sharp tug. These are the lugs and springs that we've seen in previous models. These are bolted in the racks in the position shown. Unlike the Power 7 machine, to gain access to the CPU memory, you have to pull the cake drawer out of the front of the machine. We can see four power supplies at the front in here, and the cables run through a tunnel on either side, down to where we plug in it from the PDU. Five fans, and the same again for the lower Keck node. System control unit in the middle. Above our machine we have two EMX drawers, people tend to call them MEX drawers. Here they are, the I.O. drawers for the E870 or 880. And above that we have the SAS drawer with actual disks in the front. The Keck and the IO drawers don't have any disks at all, so we need fibre channel or SAS drawers or iSCSI. We can see here the two power supplies, they go through a, a tunnel like the Keck units and uh, they're plugged in the back to the PDUs. Across here we have the four fans. Right, we'll put the colours back on. We'll put the covers back on the main system. Of course, being black in a black rack in a probably not terribly well lit computer room, it is actually difficult to show this on a movie, but it does look quite nice. Could be called this typical IBM understated style with a bit of green lighting this time around. So let's have a look around the back. The system control units in the middle and the two kecks above and below that. Difficult to see the difference between the two. There's the system control unit in the middle. So here's the keck above, the system control unit, and the keck below. Next we'll point out these orange cables. These are optical cables to the I.O. drawers above. There's one pair goes to each half of each of the I.O. drawers. There's four pairs here, as we have four halves in the two drawers above. Next we'll look at the blind swapped adapter cassette. So the adapters go in these, pull the little hand down, and it very simply pulls out. They're not very long, and they're not full height. The I.O. drawers are full height, but uh, there's plenty of space and uh, cooling around here. You press that silver button there to take the cover off to put the adapter in. That's the connector at the back. Again, you slot them in. Once you get the angle right, in they go, and erase the handle. Each of the Keck nodes has four power cables. They run through those uh, tunnels to the front you saw earlier. So here's uh, two of them. You can see the blue and red. And there's a pair here. There's a further pair down in here. Just see a little bit of red. And there's a pair here. So that's eight cables to the PDUs. The system control unit is powered from these first two kecks. There's a short cable here going from the bottom of the keck in here, and another one in here. And then there's another pair, longer cables, 
that run from here and here down the sides and into the similar place in the bottom Keck node. Next we have these very large chunky cables that run between the Keck nodes. The system control unit isn't involved. These are called the SMP cables. This connects the Power 8 chips to each other. It's not sort of a one-to-one -one, but they cross over. Next are the master clock signals. They go along little flat cables that run up and down. There's two very short ones running to the cake above and then longer ones to the one below. They go down a slot between the two sets of adapters. There's enough space for the further kecks to be added. We have a USB adapter here in the keck with a cable called around and then we have the DVD socket connected to the one at the front. And finally there's a pair of cables for the left and right service processor to talk to the keck. Seeing the uh, cable is here, here and it uh, actually goes down the side so you can't really see it. It comes back out in here. Another one over here and then there's the lower pair that go to the below keck. Finally look at the back of the machine. We have lots of empty adapters and lots of cables missing but you can see it's getting fairly busy at the back here. It's these SMP cables that join up the Power 8 processors that are getting fairly near the door and you may want to consider the 8 inch rack extension that give you a bit more space at the back here. We made this picture before we put the Keck node into the uh, rack because we wanted it nice and bright to see some details in here. At the front we find the five fans and um, below that are the four power supplies. You can see the four connectors in here. These run through a tunnel and they're actually connected at the back of the machine. Here are the voltage regulator modules, the VRMs. This smooths out the power inside the machine and uh, protects the devices inside. Further back then we have up to the 32 memory cards. We have um, 2 terabytes per node at the moment. That will increase up to 16 terabytes in the machines next year. Then we have um, these uh, Power 8 single chip modules with their heat sinks on top. There's a few extra VRMs to smooth out the power there as too. And then at the back we can see this is where the air goes through to cool the adapters and then the air goes out to the back of the machine. We can actually see the slot here which is used to get those clock cables to run up to the or below the keck depending on which position it is inside the machine. I'll leave you then with a reminder on YouTube you can find me under the name Nigel A.R. Griffiths. I'm Mr. Enmon on Twitter and a couple of really good websites where you can find out more information from me, my AXPERT blog and the two virtual user groups. If you like this movie, why not click on the thumbs up below.